Hi guys, here's a really quick video on how to troubleshoot outgoing mail server problems. I've got a mail client here, I'm using Mac Mail, it's exactly the same in any other mail client, on a phone, on an Android, iPhone, anything. Um, we need to go to our preferences, we need to find our mail account, and we need to find out where we can set our outgoing mail server settings. On a Mac, that's here under outgoing mail server, edit, SM, edit SMTP server list. Let's just go through all the settings. Description is irrelevant, we don't need to worry about it. Server name. Make sure the server name is set to mail.gridhost.co.uk. That's mail.gridhost.co.uk. The reason for that is that'll have a secure certificate and we know it's always going to point to the right place. So set that as the server name. Then, advanced, outgoing port. Probably the most likely cause of something saying can't connect to the server is that the port is wrong because your ISP might have blocked it. If we use 465, it's very, very unlikely that 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 port will ever be blocked. So use the custom port 465. Then you also need to make sure that you've got SSL ticked. So SSL ticked, custom port 465, mail.gridhost.co.uk as the outgoing mail server name. Then authentication password. In Outlook, that option is my outgoing server requires authentication. Just tick that box. Username is your full email address. Password is your email account password. That is it. Those settings, so mail.gridhost.co.uk, SSL, poor 465, SMT authentication on with the email address and password, or the same settings as your incoming mail server, that should all work perfectly. With those settings, you can go to your mail client, you can send an email with example outgoing message, example content. There's no reason that you should ever have any issues with those settings because they all should work perfectly. And just to prove it, we'll wait five seconds and my mail should arrive.